Hi guys, so recently a number of select committees have collected evidence from the business community on the impact of Brexit and have used that information to grill the respective ministers and secretaries of state. The response from government has been pathetic to say the least. They just talk about free ports and trade deals. Now government ministers still want businesses to sort out the problems Brexiteers have created. Well this type of hard-headed approach is still causing problems for exporters. Here we have Lee Jones from Floricam Limited, which is a small business in Derbyshire and while his company is trying to operate from the UK, unless the government do something, they will be forced to relocate. Let's hear what he had to say. Um, we've, we've investigated every possible solution. So we're a UK based business. We've been UK based for 50, over 50 years. We employ 50 staff in the UK at the moment. Um, we're based on the edge of East Midlands, so I, I got hold of the, the person that was responsible for the free port implementation at, at uh, East Midlands. It, we seem light years away from implementing anything like that. That would mean relocating UK to there anyway. Um, so in a nutshell, if nothing is resolved this year, because we cannot afford to sit around and wait for, for things to potentially come out in 12 months or two years, we will re relocate. We've got... Um, nearly 50,000 products sat in the UK, over 200,000 bottles. I will be shipping most of those into the Netherlands to set up a brand new facility and only bring in the UK what I need to supply in the UK. Um, it is impossible to remain competitive in, in Europe by shipping from the UK and the current methods. And we've heard this story before. We've heard it from other businesses. Um, and I've said before how the Brexiteers are not interested in solving problems. They're more interested in creating problems. And I think what they want to do, and I've said this before, they want to offload responsibility onto business. They're not interested in, in helping businesses. We've even heard from other uh, operators, those who are exporting to the European Union, have said on numerous occasions, we've been told by the government, look, you're better off setting up in the European Union. Now here is a business operator, I don't know if Lee is the owner of the company or what, but he's clearly saying here that if we don't get help, we're going to relocate. So the Netherlands is going to benefit from Brexit here, not Britain. And it's likely they'll have to hire staff there. They may, they may need to uh, relocate staff or they may need to lay off staff in the UK. How is this a Brexit benefit? And the response from government is, well, sort it out yourself. We created these problems, but we want you to sort it out. Now, when it comes to the free ports, he said here, we're talking about 12, 12 months at least, maybe two years. And Jacob Rees-Mogg was in the House of Commons recently talking about how wonderful these free ports will be. Once again, this complete disconnect from reality. The politicians are saying something for public consumption, which sounds wonderful, but the reality on the ground is completely different. Businesses are struggling at the moment they are being told you need to uh, relocate if you want to continue to operate. So the politicians are saying everything is great. Businesses are saying everything is a disaster or pretty much everything is a disaster. I think we need to stop listening to the likes of Jacob Rees-Mogg and start listening to people like Lee because they actually know what they're talking about. The, the free ports, as he said here, is not going to help the economy. If he relocates his business, he's going to relocate from where he is at the moment to the free port. And that's not going to help people in his area. It's going to help um, people in the area of the free port. And we've seen this before. Free ports don't really create jobs or create uh, uh, money for the economy. They just move stuff around. And in the long term, they are actually not a really good idea. And that's, for, that's one of the reasons that the European Union is cracking down on them because they are so problematic. But once again, Brexiteers create the problems, businesses attempt to, to fix them. And at the end of the day, you're probably going to see more businesses, especially smaller ones, relocate to the European Union in order to continue to operate. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.